Okay, so this is the Vader I was telling you about. This is the um, Return of the Jedi 65 back B Darth Vader, uh, 1983. It's got the second picture on it, which this picture looks amazing. So it's got pinkish, purplish tint to it. Looks really good though. And there's the figure, Darth Vader on a Return of the Jedi 1983 card so what um, Kenner did back in the day was to some of the older figures that have been around since the Star Wars time they decided to update the pictures so they did that for the Vader the Han Solo, the Luke Skywalker uh, the P they didn't do it for Princess Leia they did it also for Chewbacca and who else um, let me think. I should know these. I've, I mean, I've, I've talked about it anyhow on one of my Han Solo reviews because I've got the Han Solo with the updated picture as well. So, they just did it to refresh the line and this picture looks amazing. It's the same figure though. And on the back you've got a um, 65 back US Kenner card with the pop at the bottom. And what's interesting about this is, I don't know if you can just about focus on that, let me see, it says made in Mexico. I don't know if it was carded in Mexico, the card doesn't look like the stock might be of the Mexican type. It might have been carded in America or, Amer or Mexico, who knows. Uh, the figure was definitely made in Mexico. And if you go on sites about, just Google Lily Leddy, Darth Vader and this will tell you how to recognize the Darth Vader figure the Mexican version from the more common Hong Kong version so with this version you've got if you notice the stomach panel there it's I mean the chest panel the paint works a lot less than on the regular version the buttons are slightly smaller so that's one way of telling that, that that's a Mexican leggy, leggy figure. The other thing is the helmet. In side profile it's more pronounced and that's another way of recognizing the Mexican Darth Vader. And the final way of telling is if you look at the lightsaber it's really thick and bright so the Mexican Leddy, Lily Leddy figures have a thick uh, blade. So those are the three things you've got to look for. You've got to look for the chest plate, the sculpt on the head, the, the actual mask, the, the lower part of the jaw almost sticks out, it's more pronounced, and the thickness of the lightsaber. And then of course the manufacturing on the leg, that's another giveaway. So if you just go on um, Google and just say Le uh, Leddy Darth Vader and they'll you'll find out how to, it'll just, there's sites that are devoted, uh, Rebel Scum, they have a good, good thing about it as well, so if you go on Rebel Scum, they can tell you about the Darth Vader, so this is the second picture, and there's the back again, okay, so now you've got the old and the new, you've got the uh, original 1983 Darth Vader second picture on a Return of the Jedi card, made in Mexico and now you've got here and I've already talked about this one this is the um, vintage collection uh, Empire Strikes Back reproduction card with uh, the modern Darth Vader on it so the figures are really incomparable because uh, there's just so much so many there's 30 years between these two so you know more than 30 years so I just show you this is the history of figure figure Star Wars figures in a nutshell you've got the 1978 version of Darth Vader obviously this one that one was made a bit later but it's still essentially the same figure and then you've got the 2010 version of Darth Vader and you can see that the detailing is just the two figures up incomparable but then you got to think that the cards are are comparable that the cards are 
that this card is a reproduction of that card or very similar to that card and it just goes to show you that people love the old cards the probably and people my generation love these old figures I'd rather have this figure even though it can't do anything compared to this figure I'd rather have that one than this one any day but still you know I love the old cards and this is an old card reproduction it looks wicked and you've got the new figure on it so this caters for everyone that's why these things are selling out so much especially look at the Gamorrean guards who can get that, that that's probably more expensive than the vi vintage one these days so here you are the old and the new Darth Vader and Darth Vader both picture variations so this picture as I said before you got on the Empire Strikes Back Return of, some of the Return of the Jedi and Tri logo plus the Power of the Force and the, of course the original Star Wars cards. Uh, what Kenna or Hasbro should do now is put Vader's on c picture cards like that because this picture looks pretty awesome. So there you are. There you go. Anyway, time to go. I need to eat.